Join me, everyone. Let's catch the wave on Arirang Radio. Yes, everyone, back on air just for you. As promised, we have Hyunwoo Sun Sing Nim in the studio. How are you, Hyunwoo? 안녕하세요, Sun Hyunwoo입니다. 안녕하세요. Now today is a sad day for Korea, and not only today, but uh, the past few days actually. Uh, That's right. And you are aware of the tragedy as well. Our yeah. listeners and people all over the world actually are now also, you know, supporting Korea, sending us messages. So we're very thankful. And it's actually hard to. Um, to be so close from from where the tragedy happened, but to be also so powerless, and there's nothing we can do at the moment, yeah, exactly. but just pray and wait and hope for the best. Yeah, I think everybody in Korea and also everybody who knows about the accident, who heard about it, yeah. is affected by mm. what happened, and they're saddened, including yeah. myself and you, Adrian. And it's really hard. Um, to watch, you know, uh, television and and to see images of the accident and it's it's really mm, heartbreaking and shocking too and frustrating and you have some anger as well and so that's just for people who are not closely involved but imagine the families exactly and i mean the people there yeah even when for example like li- little things happen in life even mm. for example when my wife leaves uh, her phone at home by mm. mistake i can't reach her i'm like really worried yeah but then these um families of the victims who are like still not uh, unaccounted for still mm. unaccounted for they must be like really really worried and um, I really hope for the best of course That's all I can do let's try to stay a little bit positive here and we'll try to keep uh, the hope alive um, on catch the wave as well now we're gonna continue as uh, as we usually do here on the program so we're gonna be introducing some expressions here right. today yeah in the first hour in the second hour we'll listen to an audio clip and we will also answer some of your questions mm-hmm. so if you have any um, questions for Hyunwoo Sun Seng Nim uh, regarding Korean language you can send them in on uh, arirangradio.com you can use the message board of catch the wave and we'll try to take care of that in the second hour you can also join us of course with your uh, audio clips and uh, the email address is catchkoreanwave at gmail.com. Now, please, Hyunwoo, what is uh, what is the first expression for our listeners? Well, in the first segment, we usually, uh, we always uh, introduce one survival Korean phrase. Yeah, survival that, um, Korean. Yeah, that you can use when you come to Korea. Mm. And this one uh, is actually, 얼마나 걸려요? 얼마나 걸려요? 얼마나 걸려요 literally translates to how long will it take? How long will it take? Yeah. So we're talking about time here. Exactly. So whenever you are curious wh- how long something will take or when something will finish, mm-hmm. for example, when you got in a taxi, you want to mm-hmm. ask the taxi driver how long it will take to get to your destination mm. or when you're in a hair shop and you just want to check mm. how long the haircut will yeah. you know take 얼마나 걸려요? 얼마나 걸려요? or even when you're phone like phoning uh, a restaurant and you're ordering delivery oh yeah, yeah, yeah. you just want to know when they will get here 얼마나 걸려요? yeah and they usually say 5분 <laughs> uh uh-huh. Sometimes, yeah. Five minutes, no. So, or I, I, I see that uh, many restaurants actually exaggerate the delivery time. Oh, really? Yeah, just to... Surprise uh, you. Oh, Yeah, exactly. Under, yeah, under promise and over deliver. Mm. So uh, I always get like 40 minutes whenever I ask the estimated delivery time. But they arrive in 30 minutes. They arrive in 20 minutes. In 20 minutes. And they always over deliver, which is nice. I guess they they try to play it safe mm-hmm. and they use that uh, surprise e- effect exactly. to maybe have a good impression on the clients. Yeah, I think it's always better to under-promise and over-deliver mm-hmm. than to over-promise yeah. and under-deliver. Of course, yeah. better in, in the first way. Mm-hmm. Um, this is also something you can use, uh, let's say you're waiting for a friend. Exactly. Or you're waiting for someone at a at a place and mm-hmm. you decided to meet uh, maybe to work together or to discuss something or to have lunch mm-hmm. and you call that person and because you arrived there first yeah. and you ask them 얼마나 걸려요? Yeah. how long does it take you how long uh, do I need to wait yeah how long will you be and how long mm-hmm. do I have to wait um, especially these days uh, especially in Seoul if you are waiting for somebody and this person is going to be like 20 minutes late or 30 minutes late mm-hmm. there are so many different amenities that you can use facilities that you can use you 
you can go into some place and do something, you know, utilizing yeah. that time. So it's always good to know how much later uh, that yeah. person will arrive. How much time you have. Now, if we uh, try to analyze this expression, orma, orma is also used when you ask for the price of something. Ormaeo. Exactly. Ormaeo is how much is it? How much is ormaeo? Mm -hmm. And orma just basically means how much of something, what the amount of something is. Mm. So ormana is around how much and uh, yeah, mm. ormana can be how long in this case. And kolida. Kolida is the verb. Kolyoyo. Yeah. Kolida is to take a certain amount of time. Mm. So uh, here we're not talking about expenses or no. anything. It's just time. Time. Uh, only time. So, 얼마나 걸려요 mm. means how long will it take. And if you're asking your friend, you can just say, 얼마나 걸려? Mm -hmm. 얼마나 걸려? 빨리 와? Mm -hmm. Come quick. Yeah, 얼마나 걸려? 빨리 와. Okay, now we have a quiz for you and you can try to participate and win a book uh, sponsored to us by TalkToMeInKorean.com. What's the question, Hyunu, please? So, we just ex uh, introduced today's expression mm -hmm. and explained it. What does 얼마나 mean in this expression? Olmana, what does it mean? Number one, how? Number two, how long? Number three, take? Number four, fast. Fast. Okay, we're talking about olmana here mm -hmm. in the expression olmana kolyoyo. Yeah, think about uh, the answers, the answer for mm. the question and look at the choices or like okay. uh, remember the choices and also go to the bulletin board and yep. leave your answers arirangradio.com everyone use catch the wave and you can use the message board of course we will select a winner later on and let you know we'll play some music and we'll uh, we'll be back in a few moments this is 10 centimeters on the nal one day yes everyone one day on the Nile by 10 centimeters. Welcome back. You're listening to Catch the Wave. Uh, it's a Friday and we have Hyunwoo San Sangnim as usual. K Talk continues. We introduced uh, an expression for you that will be useful if you come to Korea and if you have to ask uh, people about how long they will take. And the uh, expression was 얼마나 걸려요? 얼마나 걸려요? Yeah. So you can uh, maybe try to make some notes, take some notes, and keep that in mind. Uh, add it onto your list of useful expressions. All right, and in this portion of the show, yep. we are going to look at a song or a particular line from the song. Sure, that's what we do. And I think it's a fun way to learn a new expressions using music. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll try to use a, a Korean song every single week yes. to introduce a new expression. All right, uh, let's take a listen to sure. the part that we've chosen. All right. <laughs> All right, so that was the portion that uh, we've chosen, and mm -hmm. it's a song by Kim dong Yul, and the title is Chulbal. Chulbal means start, yeah, departure. Start, yeah, uh, especially when you are starting your car and leaving, uh, it means Chulbal, and the opposite is of course Tochak. Tochak. Yeah. Chulbal Tochak. So if you go to the airport, mm -hmm. for instance, mm -hmm. Incheon International Airport, you'll see a board mm -hmm. that says. 출발, yeah, and then another board that says 도착. Yes, 도착. and you'll see the different times with the different airlines. Mm -hmm. So 출발 is departure and 도착 is arrival. Mm -hmm. And the English uh, original or the official English title seems to be beginning. Beginning. Yeah. Hmm. So the line that we looked at was 내가 자라고 정든 이 거리를 난 mm. 가끔 그리워하겠지만. 난 so, 가끔 그리워하겠지만. I think that's the most important expression here. That's right. Mm. 난 가끔, I sometimes 그리워하겠지만, I would probably miss it. Yeah. Why is it 난 and not maybe 나? 나 가끔 그리워하겠지만. Maybe some listeners are asking themselves because I is 나, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I is 나, of course. Or you can also say 저 or 제가 too. But 나 is short for 나는. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just a default way of saying, you know, like since there's no specific context here, 나는 가끔, as for me, I will miss it. So mm -hmm. uh, it has a connotation of as for me. Okay. Yeah, in my case. 가끔? 가끔, sometimes. 
sometimes. And 그리워하다 is to miss something. Mm, 그리워하다. Yeah, 그리워하다. 그리워하다. It's a very poetic way of saying something. Of course, when you miss someone, you can mm. say 보고 싶어요. I want mm. to see you. And yeah, 그리워하다, please remember that. Yeah, 난 가끔 그리워하겠지만 is uh, what you hear. Let's listen to it once more, please. 천천히 걸어가 내 자라고 천둥이 거리를 난 가끔 그리워하겠지만 So you heard it in the uh, last part of... Uh, the little clip we just heard, right? Mm-hmm. 난 가끔 그리워하겠지만. That's right. And as usual, if you would like to participate, mm-hmm. please let us know how to say I miss someone or something. I yeah. miss that part in your own language. In your own language, in your countries, how do you say I miss something? Hmm. I miss you, maybe. Mm-hmm. I miss you. Yeah, that would be a good way to yeah. practice. How do you say I miss you in your language? Yes, let us know. Okay, we actually uh, gave you two expressions here. 얼마나 걸려요 and also 그리워하다, for instance. Mm-hmm. 난 가끔 그리워하다. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to be back in the second hour. The quiz. Yes, what does 얼마나 mean? How long? How? No, I'll do it once again. One, how long? Two, <laughs> one, how? Two, how, how long? long? Three, take. Or four, fast. We'll be back in the second hour. Stay tuned if you have any questions for Hyunwoo San Sangnim, send them in, and we'll be listening to an audio clip when we come back. Kim Dong Yul, Chulbal, beginning. Yes, welcome back everyone. You're listening to Catch the Wave on Arirang Radio. Hyunwoo Sanseng-nim, kumul kuda. What does that mean? To dream. To dream, right? Kum is dream. Kum. Kumul kuda. Um, thank you very much for uh, staying with us, everyone. Uh, K Talk continues. I just want to give you some info. If you're listening uh, to us right now, you can actually join us. You have several options: Jeju Island, Jeju City, eighty-eight point seven, eighty-eight point one in Seogipo, one hundred one point nine in the Taejong area. For the DMB users, we have terrestrial DMB available. If you have a smartphone around you or maybe a tablet PC, you can download the application for free. Arirang Radio app. You can share it with your friends. Uh, we also have the website, of course, arirangradio.com, and you can check out all the programs. You can also click on Catch the Wave and leave us a message on uh, the message board. If you're in Hawaii, Hawaii, you can also check out uh, CTW via Radio Korea, so don't hesitate. And if you miss the live show, we also have the rerun available at 4 a.m., so that's your second chance. And I know it's easier for you if you're also on the other side of the planet. So, yeah, make good use of it, and we'll continue on. We uh, are teaching our uh, listeners some expressions, but we also like to hear from them, right, Tanu? That's right. So, as usual, we have an audio recording mm-hmm. sent in from one of our listeners. Listeners, one of our many, many listeners, and yeah. it looks like I haven't listened to it yet, but it looks like it's a rap song. It's a good one, I think. Uh, we have uh, hello, the message. I'll read the message. Hello, Adrian, and 안녕하세요, 선생님. This is my first time rapping, and I just wanted to know if the pronunciation was good enough. Um, I can keep rapping or stop. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I we'll, see. We'll try to give you our honest opinion. Okay. Uh, let me know if you like it or not. Actually, there is a part that I'm singing in it. Um, mm. And my voice looks totally different. Uh-huh. Adrian Opa, this is the song that I wanted to sing with you. Okay. <laughs> so It's this message sent by uh, Hinda Hind. Mm-hmm. She would like to sing with you if possible in the future. Maybe. I know. Yeah. Maybe. Why not? So we'll have to check her uh, rapping out. And Skills. How, yeah, how, Let's see how it goes. Yeah, she, she is. Here we go. Bam 
너는 평범한 것 같지만 특별하라니까 아는 사람 눈에만 보이는 보석처럼 Whoa. Mm, good job. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what did you think about her rapping skills? I think, um, I mean, the pronunciation mm-hmm. is really, really good. I, I think you can definitely keep rapping. So don't worry about stopping or giving up. <laughs> so uh, just keep at it. And yeah. I think the pronunciation was really, really good. And the rap uh, song. It's I, not easy to rap. Yeah, it's not easy. And also, it's not easy to practice. Mm. So, you uh, Great yeah, job good overall. Job. Yeah, there were some like little things that uh, that I thought yeah. that she could actually improve. Now the song was uh, was uh, Nan Niga Joa from Got Seven. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe some of you recognize it as well. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm actually quite impressed because rapping is really not easy. You have to be on beat, you know, on the exactly. beat, and exactly. you have to, uh, you know, um, make it flow as mm-hmm. natural as possible. Yeah. Are there any parts you would like to? Uh, Yeah, maybe maybe mention or pinpoint? Just two parts. I mean, basically, you did a fantastic job because in order to rap in Korean or rap in any foreign language, Mm -hmm. you just first have to read everything out loud and, you know, master the basic pronunciation first. Yeah. And then speed it up little by little, and then eventually you are rapping, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, everything else was really good. But uh, in the middle, I heard 그냥 갖다 대고, this part. And it sounded like 가다 대고. 가다 대고. Yeah, because 갔다 there, when you put your lip onto something or when you, you know, pull something towards you, it's 갔다 대다. 갔다 대다. Yeah, that 갔다 has the 지읒, last consonant 받침. So it has to be 갔다 대다. 갔다 대고. Yeah, instead of 갔다 대고. Yeah, yeah, rather than 가다 대고. Mm. So that was a little bit. Okay. Yeah. One little. yeah, Yeah. The part where you can uh, maybe slightly improve. Yeah, What I was else? able to. I was able to understand it though. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, okay. Yeah, no major issue there. Mm-hmm. And another part, uh, just one more is 깜짝 놀라. 깜짝 놀라. 할 때마다 깜짝 놀라. Mm-hmm. This one sounded a little bit like 깜 or 깜짝, mm. like softer. You have to make it strong. I say it's double kyok mm-hmm. and double chiut. Yeah, exactly. So, kam, kam chak. Yeah, it has to be, it's supposed to be kam, but it sounded like kam. Uh-huh. And it's supposed to be chak, and it sounded like zak. So, you have to emphasize each uh, syllable a bit more. Yes. Kam chak. Kam chak. Kam chak. Kam chak nulla. And what does that mean? Kam chak nulla means to be surprised. Surprised. Yes. Mm. And judging from your other words, other parts and mm. your pronunciation of those, I think you can definitely do this. Uh, so don't worry about it. Yeah. And um, you said that your voice sounds totally different uh, when you rap and when you sing, but I didn't think so. I, yeah. I thought her voice was totally yeah. recognizable. I thought it was nice. And to be completely honest, uh, from my point of view, I prefer just your regular singing than your rapping. Oh, really? But that's that's me, personally. I, I think you have a very beautiful voice. Mm. Uh, and I really was actually quite surprised because I'm not a good singer myself. So mm. every time I hear people who sing really well, I'm always uh, in awe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Good job. I would love to hear you, Hinda, uh, sing another song sometime. Yeah. yeah. Who knows? Now, in the song, I also uh, noticed there was a part where um, where she said, Non olmana ipunji mulla. Mm-hmm. Non olmana ipunji mulla. And uh, olmana is actually uh, part of our quiz here today. Exactly. Uh, the first expression we taught you in the first hour was olmana kolyoyo. Olmana kolyoyo. And it uh, means how long will it take? That's right. Uh, so um, we were actually asking you to try to guess uh, what olmana means in this expression. So number one, how. Number two, how long. Number three, take. Number four, Fast. If you have the answer, let us know. What does olmana mean in the expression olmana kolyoyo? You can participate right now on arirangradio.com. Click on Catch the Wave. We'll try to listen to uh, another audio clip next week, and we will send uh, Hind or Hinda uh, some books.
books or one book sponsored to us by TalkToMeInKorean.com. That's right. Uh, congratulations and thank yeah. you for your submission. We're always very happy to hear your uh, voices, listeners, so don't hesitate. The email address is CatchKoreanWave at gmail.com. CatchKoreanWave at gmail.com. If you want to participate, send us an audio clip. You can sing, you can talk, you can act, uh, you can read in Korean. It doesn't really matter and it's open. So just come up with something you like and we'll try to air that for you on the program. Sure, sounds good. Sounds good, everyone. Send us your questions as well. We'll be back in a few moments. We will answer some of your curiosities. Hyunwoo Sanseng Nim is here. And you can also send us uh, your, in your language, we're doing this uh, language exchange here. In your language, how do you say, I miss you? Yeah, let mm. us know and teach us. Yeah, in Korean, it's uh, 싶다 or 그리워. 그리워. 그리워요. Oil. I miss you. How do you say I miss you in your own language? Let us know. You can use the message board once again, arirangradio.com. Click on Catch the Wave and use the message board. This is uh, Block B. PC Teojo. This is Be the Light. Yes, be the light, everyone. PC Teojo, Block B. You're listening to Catch a Wave on Adirang Radio. K Talk continues. Hyunwoo Sanseng Nim is here next to me. We will now be answering some of your questions. We'll also read some I miss you messages. Hyunwoo, you're going to have to speak in different languages here. Okay, let me try. <laughs> Um, and we'll continue with Catch the Wave right now, actually. I'm going to start off with a message by Grace, and uh, I'm starting off with her because we received some beautiful chocolates, very tasty chocolates. Hyunu, you tried them as well before we started the show. Yeah, those were really, really good. Yeah, and... Uh, thank you, thank you. It was sent to us by Grace from Belgium, and we also have a very nice postcard. I'm showing it to the camera right now, if you're uh, watching us as well. Uh, Grace from Belgium, Belgium, 감사합니다. Very tasty chocolates, I think, are our, our producer will agree she liked it very much she has her two hands in the air um, and of course chocolate is very famous in Belgium as well she uh, sent us a message um, and she's asking you I think a question Hyunwoo I'll try to read it and maybe you can help her okay hello Adrian and Hyunwoo first of all I'm still praying for everyone there in South Korea thank you very much and she says in perfect Korean 여러분 힘내세요 감사합니다 be strong everyone the question is about my name Grace mm. I have searched online and I found many names so I don't know which one to choose my name means blessing uh -huh. um, and someone kind uh, my the current name she found was Unhe Unhe Unhi Unjong Ungyong Unmi Unson Hejong Heu Heryong Hesu Ah. So she found many different uh, names. And she wants to choose one for herself. That's right. Mm. And all these Korean names have a somewhat similar uh, meaning yeah, to be grace. Be because the word un uh, has the uh, meaning in the Chinese character as the same as grace. Grace. So yeah. that's why she picked uh, so many names with the letter un mm. in them. Um, but uh, I don't know if you are asking us for suggestions, but if you, I mean, if I could actually suggest mm -hmm. one of those words, I would recommend the name Unhe. I was going to say Unhe as yeah. well. It's spelled Un and He. It's not in the list here. Yeah. But yeah, Unhe, I really like the name personally. Mm. So And it means grace. Yeah, grace. Unhe. Yeah, that word itself means grace. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so how would you um, spell the romanization of that name, Unhe? It, it would be uh, E-U-N and H-Y-E. H-Y-E. Yeah, E-U-N and H-Y-E. -E. Unhe. Unhe. Yeah. Unhe. So it's not on the list here, but it's uh, maybe the name you're looking for yeah. since your name is Grace. It's especially because Grace happens to be the literal translation is, you know, Unhe. 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 Okay, well, uh, thank you very much uh, once again, not only for your question and for your kind words, but also for the chocolates you send us. Very tasty and happy Easter to you uh, as well. Okay, we have some uh, other comments. Uh, I'm looking, we have many messages here and there. People also telling us uh, about you. And I'll just read this one before you move into the next question. Okay. We have Siska. She's saying, hello, Hyunwoo. I just want to say thank you uh, for meeting me, Myrene Poyong, um, last week in Seoul. Mm -hmm. It was very nice. 
And uh, she also got to meet all the uh, talk to me in Korean teachers. Yeah, she, she says, came to our office. So sorry that my Korean is still very poor. It's okay. I need to learn hard. Uh, and anyway, I want to see Coco next time. Yeah, she's talking about your dog. That's right. <laughs> uh, I wanted to introduce him to her, but uh, we didn't have time. Next time. So next time you visit, let's meet again. Uh, it yeah. was great meeting you, Siska. And you actually uh, have these meetups taking place uh, once in a while. I think you have one tomorrow also? That's right. We are having a meetup tomorrow in Hongdae at 2 p.m. Um, at the uh, Children's Park. Hongik just, University area. Yeah, that's right. We just uh, you know, like to meet up with people who've been studying with us uh-huh. and maybe give some, you know, be some encouragement, motivation okay. to them. You know, if, if they have any questions, they can ask us in person. Face to face. Exactly. So if you're in Korea and if you're interested, uh, you can meet Hyunwoo Sanseng-nim and his team uh, during these meetup sessions. And one of them will be taking place tomorrow near Hongdae area. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, maybe we can go with that question over there. All right, I'll read it. It's a question from Morocco mm-hmm. and the person's name is May. So... The message goes like this. 안녕하세요 to teacher Hyunwoo-san and Mr. Adrian Lee. Mm-hmm. I am May. I have a question about how to conjugate in the present tense verb stems with the last syllable ending with the letter U. I try to follow the rules Mr. Hyunwoo-san gave and the verb stem has the last syllable uh, as the verb stem has the last syllable ending with U. So it's not... Ah, oh, oh. So basically what she's saying is... Yeah, I'm is, not quite sure I understood the question. Yeah, basically, uh, you know, there are <clears throat> three different ways. When you see a verb, you either add oyo or ayo mm-hmm. or yoyo. So for example, po ayo becomes poyo and and hada becomes ha yoyo and heyo. Heyo. So she's saying papuda is the actual dictionary form, uh-huh. but why doesn't it become pap? because p is u and why does it become papayo? So that is a question. It's an exception, of course. Uh, it has to be papayo in in the prin- in principle, but since pa affects the following um, vowel, it becomes papayo. Hmm. So more naturally, people say papayo, and that is also the rule. So uh, yeah, there are some exceptions, although Korean grammar is very regular. Yeah. So I hope this clears this up. Mm. So it is papayo, not papayo, although both work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Papayo. 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 Yeah. Just to make everything um, mm. like similar. Yeah. Uh, well, sometimes, you know, when you learn a language, uh, there are moments where if you ask yourself too many questions, you're going to have headaches. Sometimes exactly. there are, there are uh, expressions that you need to learn by heart. And mm-hmm. sometimes it's better not to try to analyze everything in detail. Maybe you'll uh, understand later on. Mm-hmm. Um Oh, now I understand why it's like this. But yeah. if you start stopping, if you block at each little, uh, you know, uh, obstacle, then maybe you're not going to go very far. So maybe for now, just go with the flow, mm-hmm. learn some expressions, and try to make it uh, easy and fun. That's very good advice, indeed. Okay. Now we uh, let's talk about the miss you uh, messages. Maybe you can try to read a few of them here. Okay. You can try to read those, uh, and then um, we'll also give the name of the lucky winner for today's uh, quiz. Okay, Siska. We just talked about her. Siska from Indonesia. She sent us also a message about uh, how to say I miss you in Indonesian. She says we can say uh, saya rindu kamu. <laughs> so saya saya is I, kamu is you. So rindu kamu is I miss you. You're a true Indonesian, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Me or? Um, yeah, you. I'm, I am just trying to learn. Uh, we had one um, question here. Kuriwa and Pogoshipta. This was also Lenny sending us in Indonesian. I miss mm-hmm. you. Kuriwa, Pogoshipta, same thing? The same thing, but Pogoshipta. She's asking us about the difference. Yeah, Pogoshipoyo or Pogoshipta, you can only use it for people and mm-hmm. animals. But uh, kuriwayo can be, or kuriwa can be used about anything. Mm. Margo from Poland uh, saying in Polish, I miss you is Teskni za toba. Mm-hmm. Good job. I, 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 I'm I sure this is wrong, but Teskni za toba. Yeah, I'm sure <laughs> it should be close. And also we got a les- message from uh, Tuati Feriel. Uh-huh. Uh, in Algeria, uh, they speak French and Arabic. So in French, as you know, it's uh, Timu Monk. And in Arabic, it's written uh, Ashtako Ilaik. Uh, so that's okay. apparently how you say. Um, Very good pronunciation, Hanu. 
Thank you. Myrene uh, from Portugal saying, I miss you in Portuguese. It's uh, Tenho Sodades de Voce or Sinto a Sua Falta. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Well, we'll leave it there for the I miss you in uh, different languages. I hope it was okay. I'm sure uh, I was completely way off, but that's all right. Uh, everyone, we'll be back next time for another edition of K-Talk. Uh, the lucky winner for today's quiz, Olmana. What does Olmana mean in the expression Olmana Koyoyo? Well, many people were also saying how well, how it's possible, but in this specific expression, Olmana Koyoyo, it means how long. Exactly, how, how long. long. Yeah. Emna. Emna from Tunisia, Emna85, you're the lucky winner. Congratulations. We will be sending you a book uh, sponsored to us by TalkToMeInKorean.com. If you didn't win this time, you can try your chance again next time, of course. Don't be sad. Congratulations. Hello. We'll see you next time. See you next time. Okay, the show continues, everyone. Stay with me here on Catch the Wave. Next song, this is Nostalgia by Kain featuring Eric.